So guys, today we're back in a very channel today. We've got the another prediction video, episode five now, and I, I've never explained this, but this is the book I normally record all my like the winners and that. And at the minute for the giveaway, we have got Josh who's got two points. We have got Tom Brown who's got one point. We have got MUFC OP Gamer on one point. And the winner of last week, Old Sam Pun, who's now got one point. Um, basically, whoever gets the most points will get a giveaway. But you can only get a giveaway if you get more than five points. So, so go put that there. So well done to old Sam Pun. Go subscribe to his channel. I already have. But anyways, yeah, we've got four games like always. Um, and yeah, let's just get into it. So for the first game we're going to be talking about is Newcastle's game, which is on a Sunday. Swansea versus Newcastle. Um, we have just beaten West Ham three 0 I'm not sure who Swansea have just recently played, but. They do have they've have just signed Renato Sanchez and Wilfred Boney, which is a bit uh, it's a bit annoying for us and we did get no one in the transfer window unfortunately. But anyways, um I'm going for a 1-0 Newcastle. I've got the feeling that even though Mitovich is injured and Gales are not are probably not even fit, um, I feel like Hosley will score, he'll get Richie will just run down the wing, cross it in, Hosley will score. But Newcastle, I've got to go into the next game feeling positive because we've just beaten West Ham, even though we didn't get anyone in the transfer window. Yeah, but Swansea will not be an easy game at all because they've just signed Renato Sanchez. I don't think Wolf will be up to his game because he hasn't played in a very long time. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to go for a 1-0 Newcastle. I do see in the videos, I'm sorry if I'm looking at the screen because I've got my facts in all the games. But anyways, the next game I'm going to be talking about is Brighton versus West Brom. West Brom drew to um, Southampton 1-1, I think it was. Southampton, no. Stoke, sorry, Stoke. And Brighton haven't scored a goal in the Premier League yet, which is scary for them and they haven't won a game. But they've got one point, which is good. A good start for them, but they really should have beat Watford. Um Fusion, if you're watching, because I know some things might watch me. Um, the score will be one 0 West Brom. They just got, it's gonna be uh, it's it's tough because like I I feel like Brighton will just do like a Newcastle when we got relegated. I feel like they'll have a season like that. But yeah, I'm gonna go for a one 0 West Brom. I don't feel like Brighton have done that well this season. They've played one. They've played well against um, Watford, but the other two games it was like. Didn't really know what the Premier League was like. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to go for a 1-0 West Brom Ajalbian. And for the next game, we have got Leicester versus Chelsea. Another big game. Um, Leicester. Marvis doesn't want to play for Leicester, basically. They've just signed Danny Drinkwater, who I do not think will start. And they've signed Zappa Costa. What a name, Zappa Costa. Anyways, Leicester versus Chelsea is a big game game for both set of teams because Chelsea have done it they've done okay after losing the game against Burnley I'm really I don't, actually don't have a clue how many points Leicester were on but Leicester will be up for this game and they will want to win this game and you know what I'm not going to go for Leicester win I'm going to go for a 1-1 one, one draw I could be totally wrong I could be totally right I feel like Danny Drinkwater will just get I don't think he'll get booed because he was in their big season when they got um, the champions. So if he plays, he will not get booed at all. Um, but when you look at Chelsea, their team is all well. It's all, it's obviously good. And Morat has on been on decent form. They have just beat Everton two 0 But oh, I, well, I have went for a one-one draw, but it's going to be a tough game for both sets of team. So I'm going to go for Leicester one, Chelsea one. And now for the final game, which is Manchester City versus Liverpool. Like, this is a biggie. The big game in the Premier League so far. Manchester City, I haven't seen much of them. Sterling looks to be a threat. But uh, it's, it's just tough because, like, you just do not know with Manchester City. But with Liverpool, they've been okay. They've been really good, actually. They've just beat Arsenal 4 0, so their confidence will be very, very high. But will Coutinho play? Apparently he is still injured, but will he play? I don't know. I feel like they will play Oxley, Chamberlain, Firmino and Salah as their top players. But Manchester City are at home. Ugh. I'm going to go for a 2-1 Liverpool. 
I feel like they'll just do it. They'll just do it. Um, they've got a quality squad. White Naldum, unfortunately, from Newcastle. It's been phenomenal this season. Same with Firmino, same with Salah, same with um, Manny. But I just don't know. I really don't know. But I have went for a 2 1. Um, Liverpool. So yeah, anyways, thanks for watching the video. Everyone go and subscribe to the winner who was last week, which was Old Sam Pun. Um, and if, let me know, does it look better when I'm doing my prediction videos here? Or when I'm doing it when I'm standing there? Let me know down below, add me a few comments. And if you can't be bothered, write all the games out. There will be all the games in the, at the top of the description. Just copy them, put them into your comment section, and just put the score next to the um, Game basically. So everyone, thanks for watching the video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll check guys up later. Goodbye.